um, we've heard that you were living in Vienna during the war. Up until 1944. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I came back in 46. Yeah. And some, I think Mike told us that you had manned the watchtower? Yeah. We had uh, air, we were airplane spotters. Yeah. And it was up on top of the hill there at window. Uh, Wil Wilmar. Wil yeah, Wilmar. And, uh, yep, I did that. How much? Did you, were you a regular? Yeah. So, I don't remember how often we did it. There were quite a few people that were you know, you willing to do it. If you did it, was it man, do you remember? Was it man 24 hours a day? I, I don't remember. I feel like it was. I, I think it was. Horace Lukens was, had one of the wee hours of the morning. Yeah, um, I think it was. Yeah. What was the tower like? Was there a room at the top? Or? Oh, there, uh, it was a very, it was small, but yeah, there was room to, I don't even remember if we had a place to sit or not. We did. I'll, sh I'll show it to you. It's in Fairfax. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's I not on its, it's not on its stilts anymore, but it's somebody's garden shed. Oh, good well, night. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah, yeah, and I hope someday they'll give it to Vienna. What was it like here during the war? What was the, the mood? Was oh, I think people were. Um, at first, I think everybody was kind of frightened that maybe with all the preparations to keep dark and all that kind of stuff, uh, that maybe people were a little uneasy, but then as time went on, I think it eased, and uh, life just went on as, as normally. Mm -hmm. Did you find, one thing I remember from reading Annette Berry's diary and, and some of the Garden Club stuff, is that there were still always groups um, rolling bandages or visiting the yes. court and yes. stuff? I know the church had, a lot of times they had the uh, bandages, doing the bandages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, entertaining, the, sometimes people would go and play the piano at Fort Belvoir. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. things like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, I think everybody was very conscious, self, uh, of, of how much was needed. We had victory gardens. People who hadn't had gardens before had gardens. And, uh, they did. They really. Uh, everybody tried to do something. And and you know the, the this paper that Sarah Jane was transcribed talked about all the recycling and collecting mm -hmm. that you you mentioned to her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Metal and see every all the scrap metal was used for, uh, I guess, guns and planes and mm -hmm. whatever they had to use metal for. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I think everybody was very conscious of, of the need to, uh, to do something. Uh, I know we had, uh, not lectures, but they would tell us at school, you know, what we should do if anything happened. And oh. That was when I was still in high school. You, when you say anything happened, you mean like an attack? Right. What, what would they do? Well, what, I don't remember what we were supposed to do, but <laughs> I know when my kids were growing up and they had, we had the other wards, uh, they went under their desks. Mm-hmm. And I prob that's probably what we would have told to do. I honestly don't remember. It's just been too long. Mm -hmm. What about when um, when you would hear, did, did a lot of people, I guess everybody wrote letters, and so you would get letters back from the people in the war? I didn't did get, you? Um, the young men that I were my age or the ones that I was going out with, uh, went in about 19, about the same time that I got married in that era. Um, it was after the war had started, our war had started. Um, and, I, well, you remember Mrs. Mm -hmm. uh Mildred, her sons 
around the service, and I used to get letters from them, and I always write back, of course, and um, a lot of the, I, I, I know uh, Russell Moron got killed on D-Day. Uh, he was some, a little bit younger than I was, but um, I always uh, wrote letters to my friends while I was single. After I got married, my husband didn't like that, so <laughs> I didn't write any more letters. But uh, it, it, must have, were, it must have felt so, aw I mean, just so awful when you hear that some, being from a little town, to hear that somebody died right. or was injured. There was another one, if I remember correctly, he was in the Presbyterian Church, Walter Norford. Yeah. Uh, he was killed. Um, actually, we, we were pretty lucky. We didn't have a whole lot of young men die, but uh, and, or nor did we have a whole lot of, uh, of uh, badly injured. So we were very, very fortunate in that respect. 